hey guys welcome back once again to inspire works in today's video friends i'm going to give you a demo how you can go ahead locally install or make the selenium up in your web browser so right now this selenium grid is up in my web browser sorry it is failed to fetch information because of that my container is right now in stop state you can see this is desktop docker and in desktop docker my container is in stop state so that's why it's showing there has been an error while loading nodes from the grid so in this video i'm going to tell you how you can go ahead and locally set this selenium grid on your machine so let's me make this first up i started the docker container and now if we can go ahead then it automatically refresh the page and now you can see it is up it is a standalone selenium with chrome web browser if you guys don't know about what exactly selenium is you can go ahead on this web page and you will get an exact definition of selenium tool what automation or automating task with the help of web browser it has a great importance in code integration and code deployment and i will let you know every step in this video how you can locally set this in your windows machine and do practices with the help of docker so here is my desktop docker you need the desktop docker on your windows machine to make this work and before that you need to check your windows version or the kind of windows which is installed on your machine so docker desktop only work with windows 10 pro or enterprise so you need to make sure that you should have at least windows 10 pro installed as a os on your machine so i do have windows 10 that's why here my docker is completely running fine there is no issue but you may face issue if you have home or single user edition this is the first thing you need to first go ahead and simply browse for desktop docker and install desktop docker from the docker hub you can go ahead and type docker windows from here you can simply install for windows machine and install it simply that's it you don't have to do anything you just need to go ahead on the docker hub and you have to sign up there or if you have the account you can simply go ahead and log in there and search for selenium standalone chrome this is the package or this is the image which is wrapped everything and you need to pull it in the docker so what i am exactly going to show you in this demo video is that i am going to remove this container first and then image and rebuild again to show you how exactly i did in my windows 10 machine so let's do it stop it first it's always a good practice to stop the machine first before going to you know remove it or delete it now i'm going to delete it so here is nothing but in image section if i'm going to check it it is present over here so i'm going to remove it from here as well and deleting forever now everything has gone and if i'm going to you can see previously i checked docker image images and here is the output now if i'm going to fire the same command I would not be able to find any docker image in the repo because it is gone now so what now you simply need to go to docker hub where you made the sign in and search for selenium standalone or simply search for selenium and you will have the bunch of packages you will find in the repository of this docker hub you can see selenium slash hub selenium standalone chrome here is one which i have selected selenium standalone provided by selenium itself so this is the selenium stand alone chrome image which we are going to deploy in our docker on the docker container so how we can do it there is a simple step here is the docker pull command which you can simply go and copy it and let me show you docker version and you can see here is the docker version of 20 10 17 and we'll type so simply copy this pull command and go to your windows command line tool and paste it over here but before that just give a colon and 
latest so i would like to fetch the latest image of the selenium stand alone chrome that's why i am giving if you would like some particular kind of version you can simply go the version name which you will find in the tag option if you are going to check the tag option you will find the various other versions like 103.0 and the 103.0.20 so you can directly switch to this version by just giving a colon and the version of that particular image so i want to fetch the latest one so just do enter and now it is pulling the image you can see on my desktop in my command line start pulling the image of selenium standalone for chrome it will hardly take you two to three minutes and it will get downloaded and unpacked in your docker so wait for two to three minutes and it will be ready so it has completed the download and you can see download newer image for selenium stand alone chrome latest has been completed and if you are going to fire this command docker image you will see a repo with this information which is of to 1.2 gb so what now so image has been downloaded everything is okay now but still we are lagging one step behind because we just have the image reflecting in the docker desktop only if we are going to check any container we don't have any kind of container so how we can make it run locally on our web browser so let's check out this information as well so if you go to selenium hq docker selenium git page you will find the bunch of information related to this and you will have the command how to start quickly this one with the various web browser version firefox or with the edge or with the chrome you can see over here execution mode standalone firefox chrome so we have selenium chrome stand alone image downloaded in our docker so we need this command to run the docker locally on our system so just copy this command and paste it here but we have to remove this version and put it here latest because we have downloaded downloaded the latest selenium chrome stand alone image now fire this command but before that let me tell you what exactly it is going to do it is going to run this docker command with the deep parameter and this one is the port and this is the port where it will locally run on your system 4444 and it will map with this docker container port 4444 and this is the size which is going to acquire and this is the package name so this is very much simple now enter and you will have the container up so how you can check this just now you can see just you have to fire this command docker ps and you can see the container id the name and command created status and all the status so so now if you go on desktop docker then you have a nice naming container running over there this is frosty helmet docker container running on my machine which is running selenium stand alone chrome so how now we can check it in our web browser so here are lots of command you can open with the browser you can go with the terminal you can pause it you can restart it you can stop it and finally delete it so there are lots of option over here so we would like to open it in browser just click on it and you will have this selenium grip grid up and running in your local host in your local browser with this studio types chrome version and you can check the details over here uri is this one no details os architecture os linux version and all that so hope so guys you can go ahead and do it in your machine as well with the demo of this video so let me know how you are doing 
on your machine and whether it is successful or not through your comments so thanks a lot for watching this video and getting the information right down